What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Bass Chico and I'm back with another video. So look, man, if you be on YouTube a lot, you know what I'm saying? Personally, I'm a YouTuber, so I be, I be, I be on YouTube like 24-7, you feel me? You guys know, Fredo and DDG, some drama been going on. They've been dissing each other, talking crazy. And uh, now DDG wants to fight. So he just dropped this video, Dear Pretty Boy Fredo, you got 24 hours. Uh, Fredo been active as fuck on uh, Instagram, we all know that, you feel me? But let's now hear what uh, DDG got to say, you feel me? What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video with your boy DDG. You got the beach over there, right? Really, really nice scenery right here out in L.A. Feeling great, living great, looking beautiful, looking great, fresh, lining and straight. You might be wondering, DDG, why are you on YouTube? Right, the didn't this nigga quit? I'm posting this on YouTube is because I want to get down to the gritty. I want to call this nigga bluff, bro. Fredo. Me and you are boxing. This is not nothing that you can just say and run away from. This is okay. not something that you can just talk about on Instagram Live and not fall through with it. Me and you are fighting. You're going to have to see these hands. Look, I'm going to say this. Fredo has, like I told y'all, bro. I be, I be on Instagram. Every time I go in there, like late night or something, Fredo's on Instagram, bro, live or something. And uh, I don't know what's up, what got him so tight about Fredo, Fredo so tight about DDG. But, bro, this shit, man. And I, all I got to say is, look, they better fight for real, all right? They really got to fight for real, bro. Because, shit, they got to. You feel me? It's only right, but I, I was thinking, like, if they fight, bro, do y'all think it's going to affect anybody's career on YouTube? And who do y'all think it would affect the most? You feel me? Fredo or DDG, if they lost? Let me know in the comment section right now. It's one on one, okay? So this is the end of the talking stage. We really banging. You're really okay. fighting. I'm beating your ass. Right now, talking the craziest online. Folks, I'm beating your ass. I had any type of remote beef with you. You were soft to me. You are a little boy to me. Like, you don't intimidate me nothing. I'm going to beat your ass. Damn. Bad. You weigh the same. I'm 160. You're 160. You're okay. taller than me. Come on, let's fight. I'm 5'9", five, 5'8". Five, DDG kind of got some experience with boxing, though, doesn't he, bro? ASAP. So, I, I, that's why I'm kind of like, I don't know on this one. Three months. He said 50K. That's light. I'm about to go to the bank right now and grab 50K out cash. He said 50K, K, that's light. And you can have it. And you can donate it to any charity you want. I don't care if you put it in your pocket. Take it, bro. If you beat me, I'll put a hundred K. I'll put more money that you don't even. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Let's put it like this. October, right? Damn. Hold on. Fol folks say I'll put up more money than you could have been. And he slowed himself down, folks. That's tough. I want to box you, Fredo. Anytime after October, I'm dropping my project, and I don't have time for you. So this is the only time I have free. October is my vacation month. So by October 31st, we can train all month. We can train all four weeks, and then we can come back. October 31st, we can box in Vegas. Okay, hey, I like this, though. I like this. This nigga is really telling him, like, he's saying how they're going to do it, you feel me? So if this fight doesn't happen, because from what I'm seeing from this video, it's looking like DDG wants the shit to go on, you feel me? If it doesn't happen, then it might be from the other camp, from Fredo's camp. Fine, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't know. Your security team, any, ain't going to be no funny business. Ain't nobody going to jump your soft ass. Ain't nobody going to do none of that shit, bro. Bring whoever you need to bring. Bring your little soft ass niggas that be running behind you. They can get their ass beat, too. Like, <laughs> just whatever, bro. How <laughs> this nigga say ain't nobody going to touch you? They say, bring them niggas they can get they <laughs> show y'all how soft these niggas really is bro they not tough he's not tough bro he's not did he tough. say he trying to get this his silly to moment for me and the shay the shay the homie okay I'm not the homie bro i'm gonna try to kill you in that ring i'm gonna try to kill you in that ring bro i'm gonna break your nose i'm gonna break your ribs i'm gonna do all of that bro i really do this shit so Damn. i'm excited um my prediction is he going to bitch out. He going to pussy out. He's not going to fall through with it. October 31st. I'm about to go to the bank right now. I ain't even going to lie. What do y'all think, man? Y'all think Fredo going to follow through? Because I ain't even going to say what I think, bro. But y'all already know. You feel me? I even take two weeks off. I'm going to go to Puerto Rico. Like, I'm not even going to train for this fight. I don't take you serious. I'm going to beat your ass. <laughs> but what we're going to do is, I'm going to go grab this money out the bank like you requested. This little 50K that you talked about. <laughs> and I'm going to come back. I'm going to show you the 50K. And then I need you to come back to me in 24 hours. Let's keep it 24-hour turnaround. 
You made a video this morning, I'm responding three hours later. I need this 24 hour turnaround. When I get this money out, you get your money out. You get your money out. Get your money out and we can box October 31st at a regular gym. We don't need to, we, don't, we can live stream it, make some money off the live stream. We can make like a paid little live stream thing and have that go to tour charity too, just like KSI and Logan did. Like we can just live stream this shit on YouTube. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We can get all that set up, man. All that is light, all that is easy. Everything is light. It's all gonna be light. I mean, so they, they do have the money. They got the money to do that, like bro. Did the basketball video. So what we finna do is, I'm finna go grab this 50K and we are gonna get it started. Fredo, we fucked up, bro. Cause if you bluff on this shit, bro, I swear to God, I'm never responding to you again. You're a fan of me. <laughs> Yo, you know it's crazy. The first time I ever knew I found like DDG was Pretty Boy Fredo went to like sneaker games. That was like 2015 or 16. I don't know, one of them. He went to like sneaker games or something that he had to play DDG. I didn't even know who DDG was back then, bro. But now, man, bro, I don't know. Just all the stuff that's been going on on Instagram, Fredo at least. The nigga just needs to get off of Instagram, and I don't know if... I don't want to say too much, all right? I don't want to say anything crazy. I get to bashing me. I'm just trying to keep it neutral here, but at the same time, I got to keep it a buck fifty. You feel me? I, I can't be lying to y'all. But, hey, if you grown, all the little kids that's blind, you can see past this. You can't see past this shit. But all the niggas that's grown, if you looking at stuff from both perspectives, bro, we already know where the, the, the problem is coming from. You know what I'm saying? I know niggas is being petty on both sides. I could I could agree. DDG being petty as fuck. Fredo being petty as fuck. But, bro, come on now. Miss Vlogging. I might mess around. Hey, I ain't gonna cap. I might mess around and do a little DDG Tova. Is this the end of Dear Fredo, nigga? Like, is he just vlogging? What's it called? Ah, right, the nigga just vlogging the end of this video, bro. So shit, I guess that's the end of the video, bro. Let me know what y'all think about uh this in the comment section. Who do y'all think would win the fight? And who do y'all think is gonna affect the most, bro? In the comment section right now.